Double RT Boxing. This is Mr. A with the coverage and doing a review of uh, Celia's Breckis versus Erica Frias. The fight went pretty much how I thought it was going to go. Uh, if you're not, you can watch this review on this channel. I did it, I think, a couple days ago. I'm all off on time here. Um, how else do I want to start this one? I say Erica is what I thought she was going to be. A wow, swinging, flat-footed fighter who's less skilled and trying to impose her will. Um, she landed a few shots, probably one round six and seven. Um, she landed a few more sh wide rights and... After, basically after the six, seven, she won them. Eight, nine, ten, she landed a few shots, but she didn't win them. She just, to me, she landed the same shots, but Cecilia went back to focusing. But straight from the get go, round one, Cecilia just came out with some very good movement. The in, it, the back and forth hopping. Erica couldn't. She couldn't get a, a timing on her adjustment so she just swung herself in and every time she came in with the wide just a wide bull rush Cecilia had a one a nice left jab followed with a, a, a up from underneath right uppercut because in the, if, you, if like I said Erica comes in she likes to come in low either attack the body with a jab or just come in low swinging high like a distract your vision to take it low like a Sean Porterish but Good training, good coaching by Cecilia's corner because they planned for it. As soon as she came in low, uppercut, boom. So that was good. The movement and uh, every time Erica did come in with those wide punches, Cecilia either did the uppercut or she just fired off a quick one, two, three combo. Like a one, two, then an uppercut or one, two with a hook. She, she looks really good, dude. She looked really good with the whole movement. And I like her, uh, Cecilia's holding. Cause when you got a bulldog like that, like a Erica, like a Sean Porter, a Madonna, um, if you let them bulldog themselves in, you can get hit with something you don't see, and that will hurt. Any boxer will tell you that's probably the one that's gonna knock you out. So instead of just letting her bulldog herself in there, land some lucky punch, tie her up, did a great job, avoid the pain. And let him reset. But around round six, you could see that Erica was just very overly matched. And Cecilia started like getting a little more aggressive without the defense of uh, back plan. And Erica was starting to just throw with her. That's what I said. If, if you could throw with Cecilia, you have a chance because her hands... Her, all her backhand ain't always protecting her chin when she's jabbing at you. She she'll throw a one two with her from uh, from the two coming from a low hand position. So Erica was able to uh, hit her. I think I stumbled her back a couple times, but she came back with a little shoulder dip bounce. But she got to hit a little hit a little hit a little too much for me. And I hope I hope she could get get focused because I noticed that when um. I was watching the, the the research the research I was watching on her. As she gets better and uh, more dominant on her performance, she kind of like uh, who who does this? Uh, Terence Crawford does it a little bit. Like if, if I got you, I got you. I don't care. And that's how uh, Cecilia Brackis is. And that's why she was able to get hit, just like Terence Crawford is able to get hit. Once once he has you, he'll take a little more chances. You know, I, I just don't like to see the elite. Do that because I don't want to see the elite get beat by some lucky punch like a uh, like a um, Rockman Lennox Lewis, you know, like just uh, like ooh, got you. Well, like I said, it was an easy, smart, technical, clever victory for Cecilia Brackets over Erica Frias. She stays the undisputed welterweight female champion. Uh, her presence, the way she moves, I'm telling you, anyone out there who comes across this video who don't know her, the first lady. Just go watch it. What she does is the, the movement, her, her, her boxing is good. You know, it's what you would want to see probably your favorite fighter, your guy favorite fighter probably 
pick up something from her. Um, her presence is kind of reminds me of a Guillermo Rigadao or Rigadio, however you want to, around the world you can pronounce want to pronounce it. Um, Guillermo Rigadio, even when he's not in attack mode, when he's ready, just breaking you down with the visions, his little feints, you know, even that is is good if if you appreciate every aspect of boxing. Boxing is sweet even when there's no action going on if it's done right. And it's, to me, Cecilia Brackis, Brackett, I wish I know how to pronounce that name precisely right. You know, but even when she's not fighting, her movement, her her the way she's crouched down, everything was. She's she's well trained and she's a professional who listens and takes to professional. Thumbs up to her. Thumbs up to her team. First lady, congratulations on Stand Undisputed. This is Double RT Boxing here with Mr. A. Please subscribe, like all these videos, share them, leave a comment what you think of the fight. And until next video, for more content, stay ready, ready. I'm going to stay ready. You stay ready. Let's talk that boxing, baby. Mr. A is out.